The Yonga Hill Immigration Detention Center is Australia's newest facility for holding asylum seekers who arrive to the country by boat. The centre, located in Northam in Western Australia, has a capacity of 600 and opened in June at a cost of $125 million. Shortly after it opened, refugee advocates organised a protest saying the government should be investing in resettlement programmes for asylum seekers rather than locking people up. Canada is following Australia's controversial mandatory detention policy in response to two high-profile migrant ship arrivals off the coast of BC, the Ocean Lady in 2009 and the MV Sun Sea in 2010. The asylum seekers from the Ocean Lady and MV Sun Sea were held in provincial jails in British Columbia. The Canada Border Services Agency said jails will continue to be the detention option for any future mass arrivals. Refugee advocates in Australia called that appalling. I think it's unconscionable for refugees and asylum seekers to be placed in prisons with prison populations. Um, I don't think uh, it's reasonable to expect people who have been through traumatic circumstances or pro traumatic experiences to be able to cope in prison populations. Thousands of asylum seekers a year apply for refugee status at Canada's airports. They are detained only for a few weeks, while health, identity and security checks can be done. After that, they are released on conditions while their claim is being processed. NDP immigration critic Ginny Sims said the new detention provisions create a two-tier refugee system which punishes people for mode of arrival. It transforms very, very dramatically the way we treat refugees when they first arrive in our country. And it actually transforms the image people have of Canada when they see the kind of laws we're passing that seem to be very anti-refugee. Marcus Roberts of the Refugee Rights Action Network in Perth said Canada should look very closely at the consequences of indefinite detention. If you're going to follow Australia's lead, I think they need to understand that Australia takes people who are victims of torture, victims of rape, victims of war, and they imprison them, innocent people who have committed no crime, Australia imprisons for an indefinite period of time without charge of trial. They imprison them in conditions that Australia knows will lead them to, leads to mental illness, will cause them to self-harm, and will cause people to try and take their own lives.